quite works. Um, and then pack it back up again. Uh, you probably get the best view around the back uh, one, but um, it's there where you want, of course. Notice this has got no um, stabiliser left down. It could still be attached to the vehicle. Could it get pulled up? Um, in fact, you could be travelling and want to stop for lunch, right? So for a roadside lunch stop, all you have to do is open up that tailgate. Straight away from here, in this cavity here, lives a table. Same as a table that's around the side there with a tablecloth on it. And either side of that is a bench seat. Uh, there. Right, so straight away you can open up, you've got a picnic table and a bench seat. From then on, you can pull the kitchen out the side, out the back like that. It spins around to the side. Um, as you can see on the other one, it's a big burner gas stove. A uh, bit of a pantry area. This one's got a shelf in it. Um, and a drop down bench. This is perfectly plumbed with water and gas, by the way. It's ready to go right now. There's no hoses to connect, like lots of other cable trailers. You've got a sink up this side, stainless steel sink. You can drain this into a bucket like normal, but this one's also made removable. So when your neighbours are a bit noisy, you just throw that over the shoulder and lighten them down. But you can also put this on any flat surface, so you can do the dishes around the campfire if you want, after you boil it in hot water. Um, now, lots of camper trailers have removable sinks, but most of them are plastic tubs. Right? You throw your steak knives in them and after a few months they're all scratched up and dirty. So it's a proper stainless steel sink that will mount it into a removable holder. Um, at this side, the fridge comes out the same process that the um, kitchen does. Swings around to the side and locks in. The fridge on the trailer over there is a 78 litre fridge. It's made by ARB. This is a 70 litre dual zone fridge. So where that one's got a single compartment, this has got two separate doors into two separate compartments. So you can run one of these as a freezer and the other one is a fridge. Uh, uh, 70 litres, the other one's 78. So a little bit larger in the single zone fridge. Um, if anyone's ever used a chest fridge, you'll know that there's an enormous amount of space. Even though it's 70 litres or 78 litres, you can fit an enormous amount of stuff in there. But sooner or later, what you want is down the bottom. Right? So we give you a bit of a shelf here so you can unload stuff and get to the bits down the bottom. In fact, for me, it seems that um, um, what I want is always down the bottom. Um, I've got these steps out here. So uh, those steps are part of that tailgate that open up. I've been trying all weekend since Friday to find somebody who'll make a bet with me to find steps that work better than this any way around the show, including on a full-size caravan. I'll, give you I'll make a hundred dollar bet with you that you can't find steps that are going to be as convenient to walk up and down as is on any of the camper trailers or caravans at this show. Right? And remember, you're going up and down these dozens of times a day when you're camping. Right? So having that comfort is really important, at least I think. Um, but if you're happy, notice we've set this up as this concrete car park or asphalt car park. Right, um, there's nothing touching the ground except the, um, the, the rubber bumpers on that uh, tailgate. But if we want to actually camp here as an overnight stop, as I said, on a, on a car park if you want, I go around the front, undo a couple of latches. Those latches are the same as the one in the back here. By the way, ask questions as I go along if you want. Undo that latch on the back. From the side. Pull that over, catch that on the way down. Oh, by the way, did anyone start a stopwatch? <laughs> um, I say I can do it in about five minutes. Usually at the show, it takes me a little bit more, six or seven, because um, I talk too much. Uh, actually, my wife's somewhere there. She tells me to shut up and sleep, but um, uh, uh, well, I'll probably ignore it. Anyway, so throw the canvas out a little bit, put that up. Um, all the poles to put the main tent up are stored on the bed here. Right, so they're easily accessible, but if you want the rear awning, the poles for those are stored in the front storage compartment in the special spot pole storage area. But the ones for the main tent are stored on the bed. So I come up here, push this bed forward a little bit, just really so I can reach this area here, just so I don't have to climb over things. And I grab one of these poles, slide that out the back there. That clips on just about there. I then pull that back, back over the top of my head. I push the other one forward. 
and clip that into position. And then grab one of these bench spreader bars. Put that side up. And do the same on the other side. Just like that. And it's now fairly stable. It isn't going to pull down in the wind. Walk the bed the rest of the way forward. So it can't go any further. Throw some um, cushions down. Find a section of canvas. Like that. And then I just clip in the extra spreader bars. By the way, all these spreader bars, whether they're straight or bent, are adjustable. But they're made so you don't need to adjust them. They're set once and then they stay like that. And they're all made so they just slide into position. clip in and they're made that when I push them sideways they tension up the canvas properly. Right, so there's no trying to hold things in a position and tighten up nuts. They all just slide in and tension up as a go. Clips in there and then push it sideways, tension it up. That's it on the inside. All I've got to do is now one loop around the outside. Where I've tied in this canvas up. Canvas here, put it on this here, tie that corner up. That seems, sounds like that. If you want, you can follow me around the side, or even on the other side, I'll come around there. I'll do one loop around the trailer now. Stop. Who had the stopwatch? No one. I think that was about five minutes probably. Any questions? Okay, yeah, so certainly. Nine minutes. Nine? No, it couldn't have been nine. Well, you talk. I talk about the front bit of it. Anyway, um, yeah, Orny zips on there uh, and comes back 2.2 meters. Uh, I mean, one thing we found is you're going to need a hole to get that thing open. The zip, um, the zip is up. Oh, you, but you've got the steps. Oh, you've got the steps. You've got the steps. Ah. You come as far as, well, it starts from this side. You come as far from the ground as you can. You grab it here and go the rest of the way and over. And then finish it off on that side. Right. Um, so I'll answer a question, a question I got this morning, which was, um, what do you do if you're going to be away from camp? Right, because you've got your fridge on display, full of your beer, and your kitchen pantry there as well, right? It's all on display out the back. Well, first let me answer another question. What do you do at night? Right, so at night we give you, if you don't have the, the awning up, we give you a canvas cover that goes over the kitchen, that it attaches with magnets, and that'll keep, you, keep the kitchen nice and dry overnight if it rains. Right, so you just take that off in the morning, it's nice and clean. Right. What do you do if you're away from camp for a period of time to make sure your beer doesn't go missing or even in fact your whole fridge doesn't go missing? Right. So what you can do is it was designed this way right from the start by the way. That fridge, even though the main tent is up, can swing around like that, go back inside. And while I'm there, I'm on do that little canvas flap. Uh, the same happens on this side. Swings around, goes back inside. 
And under that, which exposes the area where the latch of the tailgate is going to clip into it. And then from this point, I can actually close that tailgate. I could lock that closed. I, I, in this case, I didn't bother to drop the door down. The door drops down to the back here. And now you can't get your, your, your fridge out. You can't get your kitchen out. You can't get into the pantry. And it's as secure as any canvas top trailer it's going to be. Right? Now, of course, you can come along with a knife and cut it open and get inside. But so can you with any other trailer, um, even though we're, um, you know, is it, we store those uh, outside normally for use. All right. Who wants to see the pack up? Yes. All right.